hey, congratulations on this film, Deliver Us. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Excited. Such a good film. I already watched it twice, so it, it, is, <laughs> it is terrific. But we have to ask that question. Where did the original idea came from for uh, Deliver Us? So it came from my father in a brewery. He uh, always pitches me movie idea uh, ideas, and he told me I needed to shut up and listen to this one because it was good. And so uh, he pitches it that it's about a nun that's pregnant with identical twin boys. One's the Messiah and one's the Antichrist. And I just loved it. I ran with it immediately. Wow, terrific. So so there, there, there is no truth to any biblical sense. So I shouldn't be like on the lookout for like twins or anything like that in the world. <laughs> Unless we were, uh, uh, I guess we were inspired uh, outside of the Bible, but just all of the mythologies around the world, they always have feuding brothers. Like uh, you have Zeus and uh, Loki in Norse. You have Set and Osiris in Egyptian. Uh, Zeus and Hades and Roman, and we think we you may say that Jesus and Satan are technically brothers in a sense. Um, yeah, that that is true. Now, can you can you folks uh, tell me why um, you wanted this film to be set in Estonia? I guess uh, what I'm trying to get at is it could have been anywhere around the world. Good question. Ask, like, yeah. Well, it um, <clears throat> it's so isolated from everything. And it's right next to Russia, which, you know, that carries its own weight. And so it seemed like an ideal place for a new beginning. It's such a beautiful landscape from like these like icy, you know, tundras to this like beautiful forest. And so we just felt like it it, it fit for like a rebirth, like it would be a place where this could happen. And then not to mention, it's got some of the best crews in the world and artists that we've been wanting to work with since 2013 like mm -hmm. Anders from Alina um Homeless Bob Productions I mean they they really they really know their craft and we were able to learn a ton from them so it was great yeah, that's cool so was the uh, location scouting because uh because I have to admire the locations were very significant to me because you know the house was beautiful the cabin in the woods I mean it, you you managed to turn anything that uh, that looks beautiful to creepy in its own way. <laughs> That's a great compliment. Crew, we, we spent a lot of time searching for locations, probably a lot more than most, because we think you uh, obviously because it's beautiful, uh, but also just for the staging, so that it's just like the drama. As soon as you get the actors in there, everything is a lot easier to to do. It tells the story, you know, with with the setting. Now, Lee, could you tell tell us um, how did it, how did the decision came to, for you to uh, you know to star in your own film? Because uh, you know you wrote it, you directed, mm -hmm. but uh, but the difficulty is to be you know part of it. How how what what was the challenge with that? So uh, we didn't have enough money to uh, lock down any of the actors who expressed interest, but we tried until right up to filming uh, until like a week up. We finally got the last. No, we can't do it for that. Um, and then I stepped in to do the role. So I was preparing for it though, in case. Yeah. So for so both for both of you as co-directing on on this on this project, how did you guys actually handle you know the shared uh, project at the same time? Kill your ego. That's how you do it. You kill your ego, and then you go into collaboration in a mindset where you really hear the other person. And then you try to never fight in front of anyone else. So in our trailer or room, whatever, we would go, we would go blow for blow. And then we would come outside unified. And then we would, uh, we would do it, you know, get, get done what needed to be done and worked out great. So what, what was the greatest challenge um, for both of you on this project? You start, Lee. Go ahead. I, don't think I always think when I, to be honest, it's it's usually the it's like the marathon, the longevity of having to do it and show up every single day, the consistency. I think that that is really any filmmaker that makes a good film, you just know like wow, they you know they saw that through, you know, for two years probably every single day, little little battles over the you know, long term. Crew. I second that. I think it's uh, it, it is a marathon, 
it's being able to focus on something while keeping a a a macro view of the art itself and then just believe in what you're trying to do because as you go along the way you're going to be a different person one day to the next but you need to know what you're trying to accomplish you need to know what you're trying to accomplish over sometimes a year so um yeah it was a long journey but we had such a great team for like working with people you respect like Leroy is incredible he's so like determined and gifted as an artist and as a businessman and then Isaac who was our cinematographer and producer who I mean there's the he's he's going to be the next guy in his generation we were so lucky that we're not only to have him but that he's our friend and then to go make a movie with these people that you love was just a it was a great experience and so it was able from that fuel to get through whatever uh, we were there like seven, I was there almost seven months. I could have done a year and a half, you know, with them by myself, <laughs> month, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, the the thing about this film that I love, um, one of the things was the, 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 the villain, the secret society in, in, oh, in this yeah. film, because I was debating amongst myself was, are they really villains or are they just trying to, you know, be saviors in in their own way yeah i think that that's what is interesting to us with villains is usually uh if they have a like a outside of just pure evil if they really believe in what they're doing and they have like a good reason for it or what they think is a good reason um but uh yeah it was, it was actually inspired by a, a book uh the brothers karamazov the grand inquisitor it's about when jesus comes back the second coming the catholic church uh, during the Spanish Inquisition, uh, locks him up and basically lectures him about how they're not uh, doing what, uh, that he's not doing a good job and that they've taken over, basically. Oh, that, that is interesting. Yeah. Well, let, let me uh, wrap it up with one, uh, one last question. This is always debate, debatable in the horror community, especially for horror movies, is practical versus special effects. And um, and I, I want to say you guys kind of use both in your film, but which which side do you really lie upon and why? Practical. Practical. Ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent practical. Oh, yeah. for for this film, it's ninety nine percent practical. Wow. Oh yeah, that that cross in the water, it's negative sixteen degrees. That's six twenty two inches of ice that he went under. Like um, all of them. so our um. FX artist Anders Brat, I think I'm saying his name right. I don't want to yeah. mispronounce it because he's so amazing. Uh, he is like the the guy of the Baltics, and uh, the the you know the fire pokers going through the head, or you know the all the blood and violence he created for us. The babies, that's all real. That's all practical. That's yeah. um, a lot of our time and attention went into that, into making sure that it came across on screen. VFX is very mostly cleanup work, and then one thing which uh, the eclipse because you know we couldn't we couldn't do that. <laughs> There's a scheduling issue. Yeah, we had scheduling issues. <laughs> wow, that that certainly opened my eyes. Now I'm gonna have to watch it for the third time, and now now I even feel sorry for Lee, Lee jumping into the water, knowing that that wasn't even, that wasn't even special effects there. No, oh, it was cool. <laughs> I get, I get, I guess we do anything and everything for for the sake of art. So, Absolutely. gentlemen, Lee, crew, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about Deliver Us. A lot of people, horror aficionados, will certainly enjoy this film. Awesome! Thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs>